Hello everyone, I am Muhammad Umar, medical diagnostic sonographer. Today I will demonstrate with you how to reform an ankle brachial index, the ABI. And this procedure, it will help us to diagnose patient with peripheral vascular disease. And in order to perform the exam, you are going to need to have an ultrasound machine with Doppler facility. Also, we need and blood pleasure cuff that all what we needed so let's start and do it with the patient lying in supine position i'm going to check the brachial artery i'll try to locate locate the brachial artery at the anticubital fossa so here we have the brachial artery now i will show you the waveform of the right brachial artery we have a nice triphasic waveform of the right brachial artery with the maximum velocity reached to 77 we are going to inflate the blood pressure cuff okay start now Keep, keep inflate. We'll keep inflate until no longer we have signal. Now we'll deflate slowly. We have the first signal at 140 millimeter mercury. Okay, we'll document that. Now we'll move to the ankle and we'll put our blood pleasure at the lower leg. And here we have two arteries, the posterior tibial artery and the dorsalis beatus artery. You are going to take the waveform for both of them. And then the maximum measurement, you are going to divide it over the arm blood pressure. First, I will try to locate the posterior tibial artery behind to the ankle. Now I'll apply the pulse wave. We have nice triphasic waveform. I will start to inflate the blood pressure calf. Until no more longer doubler signal. Now we will deflate slowly. Slowly. At 1.50 we detect first signal, so the right ankle bridge it was 1.50. So in order to get the right ABI we are going to divide the ankle systolic bridge which it was 1.50 over the arm systolic bridge which it was 140 and here it was 1.07 which is considered normal so for the ankle brachial pressure when your test value it was from 1 to 1.4 it considered normal when it is from 0.9 up to 1 it considered acceptable and when the value between 0.8 to 0.9 it means this patient have some arterial disease and when it was between 0.5 to 0.8 it means here you have moderate arterial disease and when it is less than 0.5 it means the patient have severe vascular disease sometime your value it may be more than 1.4 this you could face it in the elderly patient and when there is severe acidosclerotic change this due to hardening of the vessel that all what about it and thanks for watching us. For more video, you can follow us on the following account.